PCR test versus rapid antigen. What you need to know. So say we take 100 people and 3 or 4% are positive in PCR test. That means 96 guys are okay. So we'll focus on the PCR positive guys. And remember PCR test was used, so not all of these are infectious. In fact, a half or more could be dead viral fragments, old infections, not a problem. Because PCR test finds the people who are infectious, but it also finds all of these people. That's where rapid antigen comes in. It's much better at focusing on the people who are actually infectious. So by using this, we can help to remove these people. And that means 98 people are okay. And a lot of problems are avoided. Let's look closer. PCR test, rapid antigen. PCR test around $150 maybe. And it takes two to three days to get the result. That's a problem. But you do, with a high degree of assurance, recognize the infectious people. Antigen is 10 bucks. Takes 20 minutes. You got your result and you found your infectious person. And can take action accordingly. But it's not quite as good at catching all. So there will be a small amount who get a negative, but they're pre-symptomatic and infectious for a short period. Easy solution. 12, 24 hours later, you can do another 10 book test, 20 minutes, and then you can pick up these guys. So between the two, you've got a perfect, cheap, fast system, which would be incredible for population management of this viral issue. Unlike the laboratory PCR test, which is very inappropriate. You can use rapid antigen to free up health workers, care home people, travelers and travel staff, universities and schools, even prisons find out where the problems are. In fact, it's the perfect population solution. And we need to be asking, why are we not using this technology, which is very well established and is only rolling out very slowly and could completely open up our society, our economies, our public health, everything could get back towards normal while still dealing admirably with the problem. And a final thought for you. Widespread use of this test would massively protect Granny, but it would also give her back a world worth living in. And indeed, one for her children and grandchildren likewise.